All right, this video is going to be a complete tutorial of Carnival's updated hub app. We're going to get to that in just a moment. All right, this is going to be a walkthrough of Carnival's hub app. Um, it is recently being upgraded. Uh, it's got a lot of really cool features, and I'm going to do this in phases. Um, basically, there's going to be the phase for pre-boarding, uh, what it looks like, you know, once you've uh, booked your cruise, and then what it looks like after you get on board, uh, the app completely changes and looks totally different. So, we're going to start this by, you can go to the, the App Store or Google Play uh, and download the Carnival Hub app, and then you can open it up, and you're going to get a screen that says, you know, either I'm on board or log in. Well, best to log in first, so we'll go and log in, and I'm going to pause here, but when I come back, you'll see that I've already got a cruise booked, and we will start from there. All right, now that you've got the app open, this is what it looks like once you've booked your cruise. You've got here it shows um, our next cruise coming up is uh, 10 days, 13 hours, and one minute away. Um, you have, it shows we've got all our um, tasks complete so that we're ready to go on the cruise. We can print the documents here. Um, it saves it to a PDF file and then you print it from there. And here it says share countdown. If you click on that, it opens up a, a share countdown page. You can send the avatar on there, put your face on there, whatever. Uh, but if you want to hit share countdown, then what it does <clears throat> is it will bring up all like Facebook, Twitter, and all that kind of stuff. So there's, you know, anything you want to share it on. Hit the arrow back, and you see the three hash marks at the top left corner. Click on those, and you have home, which is the page we were on. Uh, the booking details. If we click on booking details, it opens up the carnival.com webpage directly to your cruise manager. This is all the details for the cruise we're taking. Uh, and you can do pretty much everything on that page that you can do on the website, say on a PC or a tablet. Then you have package deals. We click on package deals and that'll go back to the website and it shows um, pretty much what you have already. You can uh, add to it um, booking excursions, the bottomless bubbles, the, the, the drink, the internet, the spa, fun shops, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll go back. <coughs> And then you have good to know, which is a lot of uh, FAQ. We'll go back to the home. And again, on the app, when you first open it up, you don't necessarily have to go to the any of those specialty restaurants that are on some of the, some of these ships. Not all of them have everything, but you can make reservations directly from the app. Further down, you've got frequently asked questions, a lot of things on getting ready for your cruise. Uh, a lot of those questions are there. And I've also got a video for that. Uh, that to utilize the app while on board. And there's a lot more features that you can get while you're on board. It almost completely changes the app. Uh, this will be the, actually the first time I get to use it uh, after they've upgraded the app. And I know before it had a lot of great features once you were on board. So I'm really excited about seeing what we've got now that they've upgraded the app. And we'll add that on the next part of this video. All right, now that you're on board, uh, what you need to do is turn your device's uh, airplane mode on. I'm gonna assume that you know how to do this, so I'm not gonna go through all that. Then you'll need to connect to the ship's Wi-Fi. So turn on your Wi-Fi, look for the Wi-Fi for the ship that you're on, uh, connect to it, once you've connected to that, uh, go back to the app, and it should say, welcome on board. Click on, I'm ready. And at that point, you'll need to enter your folio number. You will find the folio number on your sign and sell card. Enter that number, and then enter your birthday, the month and day, 
don't need to have the year. They won't ask for that. Uh, you do a little scroll thing and uh, click on OK and then click log in. Once you do that, you will be logged in to the app. This completely changes the app from what you've been used to uh, when you were looking at it uh, before you boarded the ship. So now we have a whole bunch of new features. This is what you've got now on the Carnival Hub app. It completely changes once you are uh, on board and logged in to the ship's Wi-Fi. Starting from the top, if you look at the top left, you have the little dash menu. Open it up, and this is a lot of the things that you can do as you scroll down. The home, which is where we're at right here. People, um, it shows the people that are in your party. And you can activate a chat plan to chat amongst the people. There's some group text stuff. I don't do that because I have one of the internet plans which allows me to communicate. If you click on chat, it gives you the option to purchase that chat plan directly from the app. And then you can chat $5 for the entire cruise. And if we go back to, and you got my planner. I haven't checked anything yet, so there's nothing there to see. Um, but... Up at the top, you see what's happening. That's another thing. It's another feature I'll show you. It's the next thing down. You can see it on here on the drop down menu. Also, what's happening, which is just the other thing. And it's like the Carnival Fun Times, but in digital form. And you can, the little heart on the side, you can actually check on those. So I'm going to check one. Let me find something that, uh, okay, so if you look here on the right, you see the silhouette that says one person in my party is interested in the fun for all. So I'm going to click that as well. Okay, so now it will be on my planner, uh, and I'll click over to my planner. So you'll see where, and it shows you that two people are interested in the fun for all. Is I'm going to go back to the drop down menu again, food and drinks. This is kind of showing you what's going on now. Uh, we have your time dining. Uh, you can get assigned dining. Uh, and then you show up when you're assigned to dine. But with your time dining, you have to go and basically let them know you're available or let you let them know you're ready to eat and you can either do that by going by the java blue uh, coffee bar there's a little station right beside it and that's where you put your name on the waiting list and it's usually and it shows you here it's about a 10 minute wait time which isn't very much at all or you can get ready request the table on the app and they will tell you when to be there uh if you but we can go on down here and you can also make reservations for some time during the cruise for the uh, specialty dining restaurants, the teppanyaki, the uh, uh, Cucina del Capitano, Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. We've actually got a reservation already made there. Uh, and Gigi's Asian Kitchen, that's what's on this boat. The Seafood Shack doesn't require reservations, but if you look where it says 10 aft, you see the dollar sign, you see that it is additional charge, it is not complimentary. So is the sushi. Uh, the smokehouse and if you look here on the Lido buffet that's one of the complimentary items you'll see where it says Lido 10 aft it has no dollar sign it is complimentary you look here pizza on the boat is always free but you're looking at the dollar sign this is the delivery and you can actually get delivery from this app and I'm gonna show you how that works here in just a minute but we're gonna go on through here but like I said you got all the different stuff on this tells you what's coming up uh, there's your food, photos, they have a uh, photo app, and uh, look at all your pictures. Um, I can't show you the other one because my wife said I shouldn't. Um, so anyhow, so we go to the shore excursions. You can actually book shore excursions from this app. So here we are, uh, Monday, which is, you know, we have a sea day tomorrow, and then Monday we go to Grand Turk. If I want to go, I can look at all the shore excursions that are at Grand Turk, still available, and I can book directly from the app. Um, and one thing I want to look at down here, we have, no, oh, it's not showing it. This one, Rum and Essence, uh, rum essence and local flavors is a excursion we already have booked. I was curious to see if it would show it already booked. It does not. So there's some information there. So you can book excursions directly from the app. You don't have to even have to go to the excursion desk. So go back to the drop-down menu. 
ship maps. You can open up the ship maps. It will show you rooms. You can look through that. You can look through the legal the Lido deck. It shows you where the buffet is. We can go down. We'll go down to deck five. On this boat, you have a lot of the restaurants and other areas. Some more rooms. Um, the punch liner. Uh, was it not the liquid lounge? The limelight lounge. And the liquid lounge. It shows you all that stuff. So. And let's see, open times. This is, you know, things that are open. What's open on the ship. You go through here, the hours of pretty much all the other areas that are available. Some good to knows. Uh, this is just a lot of helpful information. Bar service, beach towels, calls from the state room, gives you information on a lot of that stuff. You know, I suggest looking through it. I'm not going to go through everything on here because it could take a bit. Um... <clears throat> Get your account summary. As you can see, we just got on. There's, uh, we got some credits on our account, so we've got some, so we got some money to spend. So, all right, um, you can order internet packages. Now we already have our internet package, which is why I don't have the chat package. Um, so there are there are three different internet packages. We get the basic one. I can use uh, some messenger apps and stuff. And so that's how we communicate. We don't need to get and spend the extra $5. I thought about doing it just to show you the thing. But $5 is really cheap if you just want to message amongst the people here. So um, that's how we communicate. And this I kind of think is funny. I'm on the Hub app, but here I have a spot where I can download the Hub app from the Hub app, which not sure if that was well thought through, but hey, it's kind of interesting. So I go back here. Uh, let's go back to the horse feedback and settings. We're going to go back to the home page and look at it from here. All the stuff that I just showed you, a lot of that is available here. Again, you click on the front. It gives you your uh, itinerary for the entire cruise. And you can click on these and get the information from the individual ports. Just some basic stuff, you know, contact information, things like that. Go down, you have the planner. I showed you the planner earlier. You can access it from here as well. Again, it shows you the one activity I checked. Um, and what's happening now? Again, back to looking at things like you're looking on the fun times. The ship maps are available there. If you look here, I like this. It's a little feature, uh, the dinner attire. If you click on that, it gives you what's expected for you to be wearing or not wear to the the dinner uh, in the main dining rooms. Um, if you're wanting to wear flip flops and swim gear, you need to go to the um, you know the pizza bar or something, and not go to the main dining area. So, got it. Uh, if you go down here, it's got some, it'll make some recommendations. Uh, again, if you do the short excursions, the pixels photo. This uh, little spot right here where it says pizzeria, um, pizza delivery. This, you can click on it. And you can order a pizza delivered to your stateroom, or you can select an area on the boat. If you look, if I were, let's say, up on the Serenity deck, I could pick a point on the on the boat right here. Hit continue and order a pizza. Now I'm not going to do that just yet because that's not where I'm at, and I don't want to actually get charged five dollars to actually make the delivery. But we're going to cancel that. But you can order a pizza directly from the boat. Um, this is the where to eat now. Of course, early dining is going on right now, or anytime dining. Um, and if you click on the arrow, the right arrow, it will show you all the other things that are available as well as making reservations, the seafood shack, the bonsai, guys pig and anchor, all the things that are open at this current time. Uh, and we go on down here. Uh, here's another place that you can order the chat, order Wi-Fi packages, your cheers and bubbles. Um, again, it opens it up. You can get the cheers program up top. Uh, right tab it moves over and it gives the soda package your bubbles bottomless bubbles package for soft drinks and that's pretty much it on the carnival hub app i hope this was informative and you know if if you have any other comments or anything you want to know more about 
shoot me a little message down in the bottom and I'll see if I can't um, add that information or at least answer it in uh, you know in reply to your message so for now that's gonna do it uh, we'll may add to it here shortly once I've added a few things if I discover something else I'll add on to the end of this uh, video like a little amended version so if the video continues I've figured something else out on the app oh there are menus that's one thing I'm gonna I'm, I'm already figured it out I'm gonna have to do some editing where to eat now I want to show this to you so where to eat now uh, your time dining we'll click over here if you notice right here on the top right click on the menu it will show you the menu notice the three uh, but you know the three little dots at the bottom of course you can zoom in on this and see the different things and you can scroll over that means there's three pages and you can see the menu for the day before you even go up there so that's kind of a neat thing so I wanted to add that before we ended up, like I said, and you can see exactly where you're supposed to go, the red dot. That's where as any time diners go to check in if you want to actually go there to get a table for dinner. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the home page. And now let me know if there's any other questions you have about the Carnival Hub app, and I will be happy to see if I can't fill in any information that I left out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. And I hope to see you out there on the on your next Carnival cruise vacation. This is Rob Stewart with South Main Travel. We'll talk to you next time.